The Godfather of Lagos policies, Ashiwaji Bola Metinubu, has always preached that his followers should not expect power to be saved to them. But his selection method has often faced condemnation for the single-handed way it spoon fees anointed candidates with party tickets to the frustration of sometimes more popular and long-standing aspirants. And in Tidubu's latest selection of the All Progressive Congress APC candidates for the expected by-elections for two legislative seats left vacant by the demise of a senator and a member of the Lagos State House of Assembly, history repeated itself again. Now, aggrieved members have said they want to show him that enough is enough. Both deceased legislators belonged to the APC. The Lagos East Senatorial District comprising the five local governments of Ikurudu, Kushofe, Shomolu, Ibejuleki and Ekwe became vacant after Senator Adibayo Oshinowo alias Pepe died last June on the 15th. His friend and Fellow constituent Honorable Tunde Brimo transited on July 10th, which also rendered vacant the Kujofe two state constituency seat in the state assembly. Although the hashtag answers protest had forced a 35 day shift from the original date of October 31st to December 5th, the Lagos by elections will, from all indications, boil down to a two horse race. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has 13 political parties filing their intention to contest the vacant seats. But facts on ground show that the contest will see the bereaved party APC square up against its major opposition, the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Rumblings in the APC House, however, rumblings linger within the APC from the process that produced these two candidates. Members be begrudge that fact that the flag bearers emergence trampled upon the internal democracy process of the party as usual. This is vintage Tinumbu, not only did Jagaban unilaterally midwife Babajide Sonwulu's candidacy in the 2019 general elections, Tinumbu reportedly single-handedly sidestepped the primaries to choose 40 finalists from the 201 aspirants who purchased forms for the state house of assembly and got the party to refund the rest their deposits the same method produced the two apc candidates in this by election both obafemi sahid who emerged apc candidate for kushofetu and tokumbo abiru the party's senatorial candidates were returned unopposed as ordered from above. Even then, Abiru's candidacy remains contentious to parties aficionados. Virtually lacking in core political credentials, Abiru until recently served as the managing director of Polaris Bank, although he had been commissioner for finance under former Governor Baba Tunde Fashola. But his brazen anointing and imposition by the power that be has left further ruffled with within the party, so much so that a sizable number of APC members in its Lagos East Senatorial Zone have sworn to vote anti party and either boycott the election or cast their lot with an outsider. Ashwaju, APC leaders, and wide good case over Abir, Abiru. Ashi, Abiru. Ashiwaju had mandated the Governor's Advisory Council, the highest decision-making body of Lagos APC, to headhunt a befitting replacement for the deceased Pepe. However, the GSC soon discovered it had embarked on a wide goose chase. The Council had shortlisted for the vacancy the former Speaker of the House of Assembly, Adeyemi Ikuforiji, former permanent secretary, Radio Lagos, Mr. Lekon Ogumbawu, chairman of the House Committee on Finance, Rotimi Olowo, and former member of the House of Representatives, Dayo Alibioshu. The eminent GAC members tabled these four names, but Tinumbu sent them back to the drawing board to beef up the list. Subsequently, 
they submitted an expanded list of seven candidates embellished this time around with the inclusion of three newcomers the banker abiru former lagos pdp stalwart chief Bode oyedele and former house representative member wale dia tinumbu unilaterally settled for abiru trust and loyalty to himself always dictated such selections but additionally ashiwaju appeared enamored with abiru's formidable credential as a financial guru with an equally intimidating pedigree. Tokumbo's father, Senator Mudashiru Akombi Abiru, served two times, two times in the Second Republic of the on the platform of the defunct Unitary Party of Nigeria, following which he became a judge after the 1983 military coup. Also, Tokumbo's tenure as managing director on the driving seat of Sky Bank PLC that transmuted to Polaris Bank saw the bank recovering over 200 billion naira SY by bad loans, just as his tenure as finance commissioner helped the state's 80 billion naira bond transaction. Despite all this, his overnight and meteoric replacement displacement of other aspirants has been described as curious. It is being banded around that the APC national leader unilaterally imposed Abiru on the party because he might be the godfather's ace for the 2023 governorship. Apart from the selection process triggering of deep grumblings among party leaders, what other factor may be working against the young man? Party leaders view him as a technocrat lacking grassroots depth and they had no political relationship with him and for him more experienced loyalists had been sidelined and sacrificed without any pretense to any democratic ethos. Tinubu's recent first pass and misadventure in the Edo election where his intervention met with irritating tones of Edo nobilegos as well as his tangible and intangible losses in the hashtag answers process have combined to query his infallibility and may have embodied intra-party antagonists. Hmm. Meanwhile, major beneficiaries of the trouble currently rocking APC would be the PDP godfather, Chief Bode George, and his party's candidate, Mr. Ademola Alebiushu, for the state assembly seat, and Chief Babatunde Olalere Badamoshi, BOG, for the Senate seat. Hmm. You see what these guys are really fighting for. You see what they are fighting for. Someone believes that uh, Tinubu is no longer relevant in Lagos policies and so must never be referred as godfather of Lagos policies. He ran away during the hashtag protest instead of standing with Lagosians. Can you imagine anyone that votes APC killer party for senatorial election 2020? Hmm. We face this. PDP in Lagos state always divided. Agbaje is a bad market. PDP with good candidates and Igbo man as deputy will win. One hand. Hmm. In all this year, whatever, let's see how it plays out. Jagaban himself, Chief Bode Judge does not have a hold even from Lagos Island where he was born and bred. A leader that cannot have the vote from his family come and talk less of word since 1999 to date. You don't fight Sinobu by going to Channels or Arise TV. Instead, tell him to go to Alimosho and the five divisions that make up Lagos to prove his popularity as truly son of the soil. Enough of rhetoric of where Sinobu comes from. That is not the manifesto we want, Baba. So guys, let's hear your opinion. Let's know your thoughts on this.